This is my studio in Hackney. I've been here about 10 years and the last year or so I've been working towards my exhibition in London. I work on my own. I prefer to be on my own because I can concentrate better that way. In the past I've had assistants come in and help with stencils or background colours, things like that, but um, I, I prefer to be on my own. This is my oil paint table. I love having a really long, big palette, eight foot long, so I can mix up as many different colours as I might need for a particular painting and keep it quite clear and kind of business-like. This is my um, trusty plastic pot thing, and I put some stand oil in it with um, this German stuff called shell soil, which is less poisonous than turpentine, but a similar kind of thing. Because for years I used turpentine, which is just um, really appalling for your health. And you swish it around a bit, and it, it makes a slightly viscous um, solution that you can mix oil paint with to stiffer or more kind of watery effect. Oil paint is fantastically um, versatile. You can just do almost anything with it. You can make it look like plastic. You can make it look like chalk. You can make it go into thick mountains or thin pores. There's occasionally I'd put one or two other kinds of things in, but on the whole, I just stick with this very simple formula. That actually, someone at the tape told me about it when I first left college. This is my brush, brush collection, and again, it's on a table with wheels on it, because actually it's really handy to be able to shove it out the way. It's my dinosaur mascot I've had for a very long time. And, and again, I like to lay things out so that I can see what I've got. Sometimes I want a kind of a very particular type of brush, and I can see where it is and that I have it. Unfortunately, I they do get damaged brushes because I don't use them entirely how you're supposed to. I think you're only supposed to let the paint go up to there and do all careful things, but in fact, I give them some pretty heavy abuse sometimes. Um, and the bottom tray as well, these are brushes I use less often, like strange kind of super long ones or, I don't know, draft excluders just in case or very big glue brushes. But I, I'm not doing this kind of thing so much at the moment. I'm keeping it pretty much within a, a range of quite painterly brushes. I never think of painting as old-fashioned. I mean, in a way, um, TV's old-fashioned and video's old-fashioned and installation's old-fashioned. Everything's old-fashioned the minute it's been around a, a year or two. So I, I think it's as valid as any other art form and has much possibility in it as any other art form. It's really what you bring to these art forms that matters, not necessarily the form that you choose to express your ideas in. So for me, it's completely alive and kicking and up for, up for wrestling with. OK, so these are... These are palettes that I have used and I've just chucked them on the floor rather than put them in the bin just yet because um, sometimes I need to pick up a colour again and know exactly which colour it was. And sometimes it's even been useful to have all this dry, congealed stuff because it gave me an idea. Over, say on this painting, I had one of these old palettes kicking around and it seemed obvious to me that I should scrape it up and put it there so I've got this thick impasto -y stuff that I wouldn't have done if I just had a clear, delicious, clean palette. I've got a, a drawer full of things that I printed out and cut up. In this box, this, this source imagery is um, it's kind of cartoony, childlike stuff, I guess. I think it's got a playful quality. I, I kind of found these things on the internet, which just I've got no way of using it, but I just printed it out anyway, just in case. It seems to me amazing that there are all these different things you can do with paint. and to my mind, why restrict yourself? I don't mind how pe people look at my paintings. I don't mind if they just like the colours. It's great if they even look at them. So if they like the colours, that's great. If they like the shapes, the way the paint walks and talks is great. Um, I, I wouldn't want to prescribe what people should or shouldn't think about them. I mean, if they want to think about something postmodern, that's fine. If they want to think about something old-fashioned and poetic, that's fine too. Is poetic always old-fashioned? I don't... I hope not.